So, we want to watch the videos, the FinePix videos on the Mac in 3D. Or we want to upload this whole thing to YouTube and we see how that works out. So we need a program, what is called Stereo Splicer application from web.me.com eunyi challenge, right? Let's click on there. Stereo Splicer Beta 7 is in the moment out. If we scroll to the very bottom of the page, here's explained how this thing works. And this is where we want to download. One click there and we download. So I did this before. I have this application on my desktop here. All right. <coughs> here on the right, I have my USB stick or my USB card, the SD card, with a bunch of pictures I shot. Here is one movie in there. What I'm going to copy to my desktop to make this easier. And then I can eject my SD card and put that thing away back into the camera. Now, the Mac is capable of playing this AVI movie. That's not the problem. If I double click on this, Quick Time Player opens and I can play it, but it's not 3D. So, we need to splice it, and that's very easy. We take this movie and drop it onto the splicer application. It will then ask me where I want to save this. And in my case, I pick the desktop. So it extracts two. Here they are. Two AVI movies. All right. <coughs> Those movies I'm gonna open now with QuickTime 7. Now, when you run Snow Leopard, then and you open uh, one of those movies, you will see that it opens it with QuickTime Player version 10. That's not the right way to do it. You need QuickTime Player 7, the old version there, and you also need um, to spend the thirty dollars to register it, so that you get the full tool set with it. Now what I'm going to do is those both movies I open in QuickTime Player 7. So they're both in here, right and left. And I select everything here on the left. And I select everything on the right. I copy it. And in this one, I paste it. And I add to selection and scale it. That's the point. <coughs> so I don't need the right picture anymore. This thing contains now left and right. If I go to Window, Show Movie Properties, I have Video Track 1, what is the left track? Video Track 2, what is the right track? And I have two sound tracks. I only need one. Um, since this is already stereo, pretty sure. And in the second video track here, I can look at the visual settings. And I have an offset of 0, 0. Now the W3 camera has a, a movie size of 1280 pixels. So I want this thing to be offset 1280. Alright. What happens now is that this is too big for my screen. Let me zoom this down. So I have now both side by side. I can play this. Right? And this is how I want to upload this to YouTube. Now, YouTube could do the full size. I can here scroll it down to the size I like. If I for example, use a different viewer or try the cross-eye view thing. I might want to watch it like this. Um, let's upload this to YouTube in this size. Then we say export. I'm going to go to my desktop again, but here I click into the options. 
settings h264 size I can do the current size that's what I want or I can select whatever right I could do 1280 720 well it's not great because um, we are, have it right a special right movie so we leave it like we adjusted it here sound settings AAC with the sample rate the recommended rate everything we leave as is and then we give it a name Yeah, I like to have the spell small letters and so I save this and depending on your computer how fast your computer is and how long your movie is that takes a minute or two okay so now I can quit my player 7 I don't need to save this I can go away with my two movies here into the trash can and um, there I have this movie. If I double click this, it will open with QuickTime 7 again in the right size. Okay, it again. So, and now I can upload this to YouTube. Right, then I need my YouTube account. I say upload, upload video on my desktop. I called it flag. Choose. Okay, so I need a title for this. It's flag.move. That's my title. Fuji Fine Picks. I'm sorry, it's Fuji Film, right? Fine Picks 3D Real. 3D video made on the Mac. Okay. Selected three movie from the Mac. Tags. Tags is the following. On th to make a 3D movie you need this kind of text. I copy this out of here. You can write it up. As a tag it has to go in there. Category. How to save changes. Right. And my movie is now online. Now, because of the tags I entered here, those here, I have now my 3D setting. So the customer now can do here changes on what glasses he has, if it's optimized or not optimized. And if you have your glasses right now, I'm going to put mine on. You can see when I replay here, this thing is like a 3D movie. Let's replay this. A little shaky what I did there. But as a test, this is a good, good thing. Here, yep, and that's it. That easy. So. This is the tag you have to add in in YouTube. And that concludes my little tutorial.